Hey guys, spiritual empress in the house. How is everybody? Um, sorry, I've been very, very busy <laughs> and very worn out. Um, and I decided that the readings are just going to come as they come because I don't know if you guys know, but um, when you're having to do 12 of these and then talk about other shit you really care about or other stuff that you want to talk about, it gets really difficult. Um, but yeah, I did want to give a, a huge shout out to my friend Fairy Elite. She's a subscriber on my channel. Um, she sent me this beautiful necklace and I wore it um, a couple weeks ago, I think in my Scorpio reading. Um, but it's a moonstone, which I love moonstone. And then some matching earrings as well as this Lumerian crystal. Um, so Lumerian crystals, I've been doing a lot of research on it. Um, they're very, very special. They're record keepers. Um, so they keep track of records from Lumeria and Atlantis. She said she felt like I could figure it out. So <laughs> I'm actually going to use that in your guys' reading today. But um, yeah, I just wanted to give a huge shout out to her. Like you guys have been so just so sweet and so awesome. And um, it's so funny because almost 100% of my following, it like switches to guys. I get guys on my channel when... I talk about the dark stuff, but most of this channel is 100% female right now. So, um, hey, <laughs> we got all these spiritual empresses in here and I love it. Um, all right, so Capricorn, we're going to do Capricorn for October because I got behind on the readings and I'm not actually behind because, um, you know, a wizard always arrives when they're meant to. So, <laughs> um, I wanted to do Capricorns because I feel like Capricorns have been going through a lot. Um, I did a lot of florals for my house this week, so I wanted to put some roses here because I feel like all my Capricorn girlfriends just, um, <clears throat> they went through a lot of just um, disharmony in their lives and they went through a lot of um, not really feeling fully fulfilled. Um, maybe they were in partnerships that weren't fulfilling or things like that or they left, si left situations and, um, whoo, that one fell out. Four of Wands. Funny. Try that again. Um, but I feel like a lot of them right now are really um, coming back into their own. They're coming, they're getting more on their shit than they have um, in the past. And um, I feel like you guys are really on your grind, you're on your hustle, and you're trying to rebrand yourself. Um, it's a reinventation kind of thing. You guys are reinventing yourself, um, and um, you guys are doing it successfully. So um, I feel like you guys went through a lot of stuff in the last couple months. Um, I think it was since May and June. Um, I feel like some of you were grappling with a decision about either what path to take in a career or a relationship or something like that, but I feel like you guys um, you have come to actually cutting cords or making decisions or you guys are starting, um, definitely starting a new path in your life, um, new ventures, and I feel very good for Capricorn because the thing about Capricorn is um, you guys are just the workers of the Zodiac. You really are. Um, Honestly, Capricorns, if you want to get something done, my Capricorn will help you get it done. Um, so, clarify around that. I'm going to get, do you guys this Capricorn reading for October 2018. Um, feel really good. Um, I always feel good for everybody I read for, but for Capricorn, I just feel like you ran a certain way at the beginning of your life, and then you tried to alter it, and... Um, Honestly, a, a Capricorn can reinvent themselves and they can rebrand themselves and rebuild themselves from situations. It just may take them a little bit, but because they plod on and plod on, um, you know, they do, um, they do get successful that way. So you guys have the Eight of Swords. Yep, Eight of Swords in reverse. Hello. Of course you do. Sorry, I have a lot of energy right now. Eight of Wands. These are matching up completely. Um, Five of Pentacles, you guys are definitely coming out of something right now. Um, seven of Wands, yes, I feel this, and I got this for Sagittarius too, and it's funny how sometimes the cards from previous readings kind of, um, they blend into each other. Um, yep, because I have the Two of Pentacles. And the Temperance card in reverse. It's a beautiful card. Major Arcana is here. And the High Priestess in reverse. We're moving forward. You guys have the magician in reverse. I like these actually, like even the, even the reversals. Um, it's just telling like a little story for you guys, but I feel like it definitely does um, with the seven of cups in reverse. I got this for Scorpio too. So eight of wands. With the eight of wands in the upright, 
Um, it's nice because you're getting to the point of, I don't know if you guys can see that, it's a little dark, sorry. Um, you guys are getting to the point of, um, you can see that this cat's on this tree and he's precariously, um, he's being very careful with his decision making and, th and what he does and he's blindfolded. He's blindly walking through the eights through suffering um, to get to the nine and the nine's being fully ran through the ringer from, from these swords at the bottom. With it in reverse, though, I feel like you guys weren't careful or you guys are coming out of situations of burden and um, of not knowing your direction. Um, because I feel like a Capricorn always knows their direction, but there becomes certain points in their life where they just kind of, they flounder for a little bit. And this is usually closer to the 30s and then a little bit from there. Um, but I feel like you guys are... Um, you weren't navigating or maybe seeing things for what they are with the blindfolded cat. Um, I feel like in a situation, whether it's work or a partnership or something like that, you weren't seeing seeing, seeing it for what it really is. I mean, um, and especially with being compatible with work partners and things like that, um, you can only kind of try to see the good in a situation and, and people for a certain amount of time and then realizing like, look, look this just simply isn't a good fit. Um, so I feel like you guys are definitely seeing that because this is quick movement. You guys have the Eight of Wands. I don't know if you can see that. You guys have the Eight of Wands. Wands are very, very quick movement. Um, the Seven is re receiving... Um, seven is like reward for hard work. It looks like you guys made a decision with this Eight of Pentacles. It looks like you are going to be um, fast moving in a new direction and um, working towards a new start. Um, I feel like you guys are sending those messages out. Um, if you guys are good at networking, um, say you're good at networking or anything like that, Feel like that's what you guys are sending out messages or sending out your resume or maybe you guys are on dating sites or things like that things that travel through the air I feel like this is what you guys are doing now and it's great because you're not gonna be in these coming out of these precarious situations um, you'll be doing that so I feel very good for that because you're literally coming out of the cold you have the five of Pentacles five of coins there's kind of everything in here this is working towards um, financial stability and maybe with the decisions that you made whether you left a partnership or whether you left um, a relationship maybe you took a bit of a financial hit um, it seems like you could have been stable a stable force before but something happened and kind of shook it up um, this is also taking a little bit of a hit but it's okay because you took a little bit of a hit um, so that you could get out of a situation so I feel like whether that was um, a relationship or a work partnership or something like that you guys finally made the decision to come out of the cold. Sometimes that takes a little bit of budgeting, takes a little bit of, you know, making moves. If you guys moved, um, like you moved homes. <clears throat> like I know when I got my new place, it, you know, you got to pay for movers, you got to, you know, and so for a little bit, you're going to have to budget a little bit tight, but you guys will be coming out of that and you'll be coming into your own elements. Um, these coins contain all the elements. Um, so you'll be coming back into your element because I feel like, Capricorns early in their life really are in their element. Something happens. It's usually a midlife kind of thing, midlife crisis. <laughs> but um, hello, darling, you're back. Um, because you guys have um, had to battle and defend yourself, um, you also, there was red flags in certain situations that you guys are very good at reading, um, but maybe you kind of ignored them a little bit. Um, but this is, um, you know, being attacked, um, being judged, being judged for who you are and how you are. And I'm sorry, I'm, I'm an Aquarius, I don't stand for that shit. Um, so if somebody was trying to make you feel bad about the way that you were, the way that you carried yourself, the way that you excelled in life and business and anything like that, um, they can screw off. <laughs> Cause you guys, you guys noticed before you had to defend yourself and defend your flag. Um, now I really feel like you guys are going to be being true to yourself, reigning true with, with your own, like you understand who you are. I, I, I feel like Capricorns, you just know how you are and you just like accept that. So, um, I definitely feel very good for that <clears throat> because what it's going to do, making this new move and making this decision, you have the two of pentacles. You guys are going to have to juggle a little bit and I'm sorry, this happens with new starts. Um, it, it looks like you're juggling a lot right now. Um, that's okay, because if anybody can handle that, a fucking Capricorn can handle juggling the shit out of anything, any sort of situation. You guys are very good at like almost like a delegation or energy manipulation. You guys know how to kind of sidestep out of bad situations or move through obstacles. Um, you guys will be juggling with that. And you have a lot, um, 
you know, you have a lot, um, and, and it looks like you may have options too. It looked like if you guys were dealing with somebody before, there's earth and water. You could be dealing with an earth or water sign. Um, you can see one of the ships is coming and one of the ships is going. So I feel like you guys are moving out of a situation, whether that's a partnership at work or it's an actual partnership with a, you know, a loved one, a significant other. I feel like um, you guys had other options in love. You also had other options with, um, with career paths and things like that that you guys weren't really seeing before, but you're doing a lot of this juggling too. You could be maybe juggling two different people that happens a lot with the pentacle, so um, I feel really good. This is a good card. Because options, options, darling, are always awesome. They always are. Um, because you have the temperance in reverse. You guys are no longer waiting for shit. I equate this one to the chariot sometimes. Temperance is, feel like you guys have been patient and you tried to ride out a situation that was just not work outable it was not fixable um you're no longer doing that because and it's and i said this in another reading too life is too short to wait for something to work out um capricorns work their own shit out they don't wait for it so i feel like you guys definitely aren't doing that um you will start collecting again but you just have to stop being patient you need to make those quick moves that i feel like you guys are making and this is because before you didn't have the you have the high priestess in reverse um, so this is a very psychic card. Um, what I find with a lot of Capricorns is they equate their successes to gut instinct or luck or when it's really intuition. And, and Capricorns, I can say, have the hardest time, not so unlike a Virgo, with connecting with their inner intuition and, and recognizing that it's like everyone that I've ever talked to. I'll say, you're intuitive. You're, you're like very, very intuitive. And they always say something like, Oh, well, you know, I used to see um, spirits when I was a kid or something like that. And it's like, hello, then why do you keep equating this to some 3D sort of like, oh, yeah, I just got lucky or I had a feeling like feelings are intuition. You guys weren't being this before. I feel like you will be, um, but before you weren't. So you can get this into the upright. Just you need to start recognizing signs. If you guys are seeing signs and symbols and things like that, I would definitely take stock of where you are at that moment or things like that. Um, because you guys are very psychic. I, I don't care. Like people think Capricorns are so cold and they're, yeah, they kind of are, but I mean, they're very intuitive. So if you guys do dabble in cards or anything like that, my, one of my big missions here is to help Capricorns tune in with their emotions and their intuition. Um, because you're the sea goat guys, <laughs> the sea goat climbs the highest mountains and also dives to the depths of the emotions, um, which is the ocean. So, um, <clears throat> And because you weren't recognizing, I mean, just a lot of these things here, you had the magician in reverse for a bit. Getting some of these things in the upright, recognizing your intuition and your magic, you guys weren't doing that before. Um, so now, moving forward with you guys doing that, um, you're going to get this turned into the upright. I promise you that. Um, you just have to, you have to recognize your own sparkle um, and acknowledge, like, you just are who you are. Um, and honestly, the ones watching my channel are pretty much around my age group. I think about... 24 to 35 is my biggest following, but um, <clears throat> you can only deny who you are for so long and then it just kind of catches up with you. So, um, and I think before too, you just felt like, um, this just kind of moving forward, you just felt like you didn't have options. I feel like, and that, that's a stupid thing too, is Capricorn has a lot of options. Um, Capricorns can be very attractive. They can be, I mean, their their success is very attractive. Um, usually a lot of them take care of themselves. A lot of them are great providers. So you guys felt like you didn't have options before in love or um, maybe you were stuck. Um, a lot of Capricorns own their own business. Maybe they felt that they were stuck or tied to this or um, to a certain situation. You guys felt like you didn't have options. You definitely do. Um, with sending out those wands, um, those opportunities are going to be coming back to you. So like I said, wands or messages travel through the air. Um, so emails, things like that. I would start, um, I would start sending out the word, the word, word, word. <laughs> um, but yeah, as far as Capricorn goes, I feel very, very good. Um, if you guys are looking for opportunities in love or in work, I mean, I kind of already told you, um, maybe a clarifier moving. Ooh, this one jumped out. Oh, Okay. Is that well now I can't read it because I don't know if it was in reverse or not <clears throat> if you guys are um, 
If you guys are looking for love, I'm just gonna say love because I feel like Capricorns, you guys are looking for somebody who understands your special, your little quirks that you have. Um, because they are so independent. I mean, it's not unlike an Aquarius. Um, you guys are so independent that it's just like, when you wanna grind and be on your hustle, hell hath no fury. Everybody get the fuck out of my way so I can get the life that I want. <laughs> Um, ooh, you have the Knight of Cups if you guys are looking for love. Hello, the Knight of Cups. That's, um, water signs. You guys may be interested in a water sign. Um, and the Knight of Cups, the Knight comes in with offers. So I just really feel like somebody's coming in, um, somebody who can emotionally balance you. Um, I think this is Pisces card. Um, but, um, somebody who can balance you emotionally, who can give you emotional fulfillment because it's really hard for Capricorns to learn how to open up. Um, and if they don't feel emotionally fulfilled, it's almost like a Capricorn doesn't realize that that's what it is. So very, very good. The knight comes in with an offer and the knight does work too. Um, like if you, t if you tell them something that you need, the knight, knight will put in the work because the knight doesn't get to being a king by, by not doing that. So somebody's going to come in with an offer. I feel like Maybe a water sign, um, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. Um, but somebody will definitely, you know, and this is what you want moving forward is emotional fulfillment because um, Capricorns will realize, especially with these shifts in the planet, that this is what's important in life. So, um, yeah, I feel really good for Capricorn. If you guys have any questions or any specific things you want me to talk about, um, I'm trying to get back into the tarot, but, like, so much stuff has been going on like so much stuff behind the scenes um but yeah i love you guys capricorn thank you so much to my subscribers you guys are so freaking awesome and like to receive a gift from a total stranger is just like insane to me um well not a total stranger we talked but um yeah uh, i love you guys um so for for capricorn october 2018 um if you guys want to like share sub or, or anything like that um feel free otherwise um i'm gonna do aquarius next i'm really excited and we'll talk soon guys bye